Hey guys, just thought I'd do a quick video about the Beretta 418, also known as the Bantam and eventually the Panther. It's a 25 ACP semi-auto pocket pistol. Its history goes back to 1919, and through the years, Beretta made several different variations and improvements and everything, and finally in 1937 it became the 418, which had a few different improvements over the, its pre predecessor, the 318, including the grip safety is a different shape. It used to be a little bit more rounded. The, um, the grip itself is a different shape. It used to be just more s straight. Um, instead of having this little swell there. And that's really one of the primary motivators of Beretta changing and updating the model is they wanted it to just look more modern and sophisticated and everything, less stodgy and old-fashioned. And they also wanted it to sort of complement its uh, bigger brother, the 1934-1935, which, um, which shot 32 ACP and 380 ACP. But, so this is sort of the little brother of those two models, and they just wanted it to fit the lineup a little bit better. Um, so they made those aesthetic changes. Another one, they added a cocking indicator, uh, which is a little pin that's attached to the firing pin, so that when the gun is cocked, it pokes out the back there, which is considered a safety feature. And of course, um, literally two minutes before I made this video, I was messing around with the gun, and mine broke. Uh, I just noticed that it was kind of loose in there, and I tipped the gun backwards, and it just kind of fell out. So I'm probably going to put a little dab of glue on there and stick it back in there. It's not really even that essential. Um, you know, it's just a safety feature to know that the gun is cocked. I'll flip it over here. So the gun is, um, in my opinion, mostly known for nowadays as being the original James Bond gun. It was what James carried before he got his Walter PPK. And, uh, you know, honestly, it, I mean, Ian Fleming, he's a good writer and everything. James Bond's a great character, but he clearly didn't really know what he was talking about with guns because to have a secret agent carrying this little bitty 25 ACP gun with uh, this tiny little barrel... And actually, in the book, James's version, he uh, he had sawed off the barrel, which I don't that hardly even makes sense with this gun. I mean, look at how small that barrel is sticking off of there. I don't know how you're going to saw that off, really. And if you do, you're losing the crown of the barrel, which is pretty important to accuracy. Um, and then also, he had skeletonized grips, quote unquote, which I guess just means he had the grips taken off. So, really, James is walking around with kind of a POS little gun there, and. Uh, it eventually malfunctioned and he got upgraded to the Walter PPK and 32 ACP, which isn't really, you know, a man stopper either, but at least it's a little bit better. So it's more of a novelty at this point for me. Um, it is fun to shoot. It's not amazingly accurate for me. I have a Colt 1908, another 25 ACP pocket pistol, and I'm able to hit soda cans with that at, you know, like 20, 25 feet. And this thing, I'm just, I can never get it to be that accurate for me. It's still fun to shoot. I haven't ever had any jams or reliability problems or anything like that, but I don't know. I think it might be the sights are just too small, the grip doesn't work for me, I'm not sure what it is exactly, but, you know, like I said, the Colt can shoot that pretty well. Um, has a safety here, that's safe, and that's ready to fire. Um, you can see the grip safety there, I'll cock it and let you see the, the uh, what the trigger's like. It's kind of hard to do on camera because I have to have this grip safety pressed in, maybe if I do it like this, so you can see what the trigger looks like when you pull it. And it's probably not a... Not a huge amount of travel, but it is pretty heavy. There's not any feedback either. You just push it and it goes off. But um, So the trigger's not amazing, and that might be why I'm not very accurate with it. But uh, it's got a heel magazine release, like they used to do in Europe a lot in the day. Um, so you pull that, and it comes out. magazine comes out. The gun holds seven plus one round. You can have one in the chamber. Um, 25 ACP. So put that back in. Um, I'll do a video about the takedown. It's a little bit tricky and, and it'll just be a short little one. I noticed there weren't any videos about that on YouTube yet. Uh, I'll give you a little bit more of a look at it. The uh, the frames are really interesting, I think. Uh, eventually, in the 40s, I believe, they introduced an aluminum alloy frame, which is why you notice this one's kind of got a yellow or an orangish sort of tint going on with it. And I've seen a lot of different co color variations. It's kind of neat, really. I've seen some that are sort of purple. Um, they have a, a more of an intense blue one. This one just happened to be yellow, so it's kind of pretty. I kind of like it. But, um, yeah, it's a fun little gun to shoot. They're pretty cheap. Got this one, I think, for 200 bucks or something. Um, you know, I don't see them a whole lot, surprisingly. They made a lot of these, and they were pretty popular in the 50s, but they're not super easy to find, in my experience at least. But So, yeah, the Beretta 418. I'm not an expert with these things, so... Um, wish I could have said more details and facts and everything, but all I know is that it's pretty fun. Nice little pocket gun by Beretta.